Science tells us there is one thing more important than any other if you want to learn effectively. And I'm going to show you what that is. But first, I need to take you back in time. Just a few years. It's October 2019. Two professors from MIT are sitting in a cramped office, staring at the results of their most recent study. It's late. They'd rather be at home, cup of tea in one hand, favourite book in the other, perhaps with a murder mystery drama on the TV in the background. But they can't, because the results in the spreadsheet on the screen in front of them, well, they don't make any sense. They had carefully designed the study to find a link between learning and one specific activity. But the results are showing irrefutable evidence between learning and something else entirely. It's unexpected, unplanned and unexplained. Thank you for watching. My name's Giles, and on this channel, I explore topics about learning science and learning and science. If that sounds good to you, then join us and subscribe. You'll be very welcome. Just what is it that surprised them so? Professors John Gabrielli and Geoffrey Grossman gave a hundred of their MIT chemistry students Fitbits. But they weren't just being generous. There were a few conditions attached to the gift. The students had to wear them continually for a whole semester and grant access to their activity data to the researchers. And a quarter of the students had to enrol in an intense fitness class. The professors were looking for a link between level of exercise and academic performance. But it didn't matter how much they searched through that data, they just couldn't find one. As Jeffrey Grossman put it, what we found at the end of the day was zero correlation with fitness, which I must say was disappointing, since I believed and still believe there is a tremendous positive impact of exercise on cognitive performance. But they did find something else lurking in the data, a signal so strong it was shouting at them. What was it? Sleep. The researchers weren't surprised that there's a link between sleep and performance. It was the extent of the link that surprised them. Out of all that noisy data, the relationship between amount of sleep and performance in tests or exams was a straight line. Sleep really matters. But there's more. As they picked apart the data, they found insights that are useful to all students. In fact, they're useful to anybody. Some of the findings in the data were quite surprising. For example, cut-off times. Now, your mum always told you this, but you didn't believe her. The later you go to bed, the worse your performance, even if you get the same amount of sleep as someone who goes to bed earlier. There is a cut-off time. What is it? It's 2 a.m. Go to bed later than that, and your performance will deteriorate no matter how much sleep you get. Now, what about the night before a test? You need a good night's sleep, yes? Actually, no. Grossman studies show that this doesn't contribute to an improvement in scores. It doesn't matter. What does matter is the quality of sleep at the time the learning's taking place, which probably shouldn't be the night before. So how big an effect does sleep have on academic performance? When they looked at the data to try to answer this question, they found that the effect is huge. Course grades for students averaging six and a half hours sleep a night were down 50% on those averaging just one hour more. What about variation? Say if the amount of sleep you get varies by 30 minutes a night. Students in this category had grades that dropped by 45% below others who had less variation. Anything else? Yes, consistency. Students getting a consistent amount of sleep each night on average scored higher than those with greater variation, even if the total amount of sleep for the week was the same. Sleep well. Since we're talking about getting smarter and becoming better at learning, I want to tell you about Brilliant.org, who've sponsored this video. I've used Brilliant for years. It's one of the most effective ways of learning STEM subjects, and I'll show you why in a second. Brilliant knows how to harness the power of your brain. It's where you learn by doing, with thousands of interactive lessons in math, data analysis, programming, and AI. The experts at Brilliant have created a learning platform designed to optimize your learning. It's done by getting you to solve problems, which is the most effective way to learn. With each topic, you build a deep understanding from first principles by picking it apart. It's an excellent way to learn, six times more effective than watching videos. It's the route to real expertise. They've recently added loads of new data science content, all of which uses real-world data to train you to see trends and make better informed decisions. Whether you're a beginner or advanced, they have courses that will develop your expertise. You'll learn how to create data visualizations, how to fit regression models, and how to work with real data sets like this one from Airbnb. 
To try everything Brilliant has to offer free for 30 days, go to brilliant.org forward slash Python programmer or click on the link in the description or just scan this QR code. You'll also get 20% off an annual subscription. So give it a go. It could completely transform your learning.